Ese niño de hombre. Está cargando su cara. Ok, Gordon. <risa> Finally. <risa> Hello, hello everybody, how are you? <laughs> well, we are here with this woman. Yay! Hey, Ana Dominguez uh, for all our Babel networking group. So then, uh, well, today is coffee chat with Ana Dominguez, right? So then, first of all, how are you today? I'm doing good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. then, social distancing. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, so then, <laughs> you know, it's life. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, let's start um, by asking you the first question. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready to share with our networking group? I am ready. Yay. So then, first of all, tell us who is Ana Domingues about your personal things and your professional things. Okay, well, my name is Ana. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and I'm one of the co-founders of Babel Networking, and she's the other co-founder, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and I am also a bilingual licensed agent for New York Life. And well, a little bit about myself could be, uh, I am originally from Mexico. Mm -hmm. So I came to this country in 2015. I lived in Texas for six years. And I'm so happy I'm in Florida now. That's <laughs> all I can say. And I found uh, that I can do a lot of things uh, in this country, which yeah. I didn't do it before. And, uh, uh, well, I've been a uh, business owner for already 11 years, mm -hmm. and I'm loving it. I am very passionate about helping other business owners, mm -hmm. about um, <clears throat> supporting business ideas, and now, of course, I'm very passionate about uh, helping people uh, guide them in this financial, yeah, you know, uh, planning. Yeah. Okay. So, I, and I have a two-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm loving motherhood. It's like uh, every day there is something I'm enjoying about my son, and uh, and that's a little bit about myself. Okay, nice. So, well, what is the name of your business? Or you, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we need coffee. Yeah, what is it? Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I don't know if that happens to you, but sometimes you want to speak Spanish, English, and then you said, uh, what channel am I in right now? And then you didn't speak anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you're yeah. like, like right now, you yeah. see? Thank Hi, you. Kim. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. Hello, girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so then, well, sorry for my tongue problem. That's okay. Yeah, so then, well, what is the name of your business and the services that you offer? Okay, well, I am working for New York Life Insurance Company. It's the uh, largest insurance company in the country. Mm -hmm. And, well, that's why I chose New York Life. Plus, I've been a client of New York Life for almost uh, 12 years. Yeah, so 13 do I. years. Oh, so, so, yeah, so have exactly. I. Yeah. I so, have had my insurances for a long time. There you go. Mm -hmm. So, I know what kind of company it is. I know how they take care of the customers. So, I, can, I have the client perspective. And now, of course... Uh, I can give my customers that perspective as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the other thing that I do is Babel Networking. And that's the name, Babel Networking Group. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then what about the services? For, <clears throat> for New York Life, what services do you offer? Well, we do all the financial planning, basically. Mm -hmm. We do the whole, you know, uh, financial house. Um, which I teach that in the console that I give, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we start with the foundation that means your protection. So that would be from life insurance, and then we go to the accumulation part, and then we go to the preservation part. So mm -hmm. I do the whole house, mm -hmm. and it depends on the um, customer needs. If they only need, or if they need to start only with the uh, foundation 
or if they already start with the foundation, then we plan the accumulation and then the preservation. Oh, so sounds great. We do the whole thing. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> great. And then well, what makes you different from your competitors? Oh, well, that's a very good question. Um, I would say that what makes a me different is the human <laughs> approach. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to just go and sell you something that you don't need. Yeah. No. Uh, I do a consult first, and we talk about your dreams, we talk about your goals, or something that is keeping you up at night, or that maybe you owe a lot of money, mm -hmm. or you want to get rid of uh, debt, mm -hmm. or you are thinking about the education of your kids, or um, you're thinking about retirement, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, so I do that first. Mm -hmm. uh, then we talk about your budget. Uh, I teach you how to put some money aside. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after that, I prepare something for you. Yeah. So it's not like we're going to do everything in the same day, but we pretty much set your goals first because I'm going to partner with you in mm -hmm. the whole process. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like you are planning a trip. Yeah. If you don't know where you're going to go, then I cannot help you. No. Right? So <laughs> yes. I'll help you in that process. I'll help you figure out where you want to go. And then I will partner you in that path. So yeah, that human right. approach, mm -hmm. I think that's what makes me different. I don't want to... I don't want you to get something that you are not going to need. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well... Let me share. Can I share my experience? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, it's because you work with us, with my husband and I, and then I honestly appreciate that uh, sometimes when people want to offer you something, they push you too much, and then you accept because you said, okay, okay, yes, or I don't know, something happened that you accept something that maybe you don't need, or maybe you are not so convinced. But I like your approach because you are like, okay, this is what I offer, this is how I can help, but at the end, it's your decision. I am here to help you. No? So then at the end, you just offer everything. And if you feel or if you see that the person is not convinced, then you said, okay, no problem. I am here, right? And I offer you these options. Just think about them and etc. And you are not like taking the person so far that they are like, ah, because you can have the reaction that they accept because they don't want or that they completely reject you, right? So in, in my perception, I felt fine because I said, okay, he, my, well, in that case, my husband needs to get convinced about the benefits <laughs> and etc. No, I, I am more than convinced, but whatever, right? So then at the end, I love that um, approach that you have with us. And this is really, this is something nice, something very nice in my personal opinion. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. But it's uh, still, I'm going to be the table in your shoe. Yeah. Of course. Because that's part of my job. Whenever mm -hmm. you. Whenever you let me in, yeah. in that part of your life or planning, mm -hmm. then I'm going to be reminding you, hey, mm -hmm. you are saving, remember, for your retirement. Yeah, or, good. Yeah. Yes. yes, at the end, you need to remind people, hey, this is good for you because at the end, it's good, right? It is good. So yes. Good. Yeah. Thank you. So then, uh, what, what inspires you to pursue your business idea? Okay. Well, I think... Uh, I'm going to talk about both Babel Networking and um, and New York Life. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> with Babel Networking, I see a need in people to really uh, promote that service or product. And you don't know people. Yeah. So, or you don't know how to approach that person. Mm -hmm. So, what inspired me is that need that we have to really know how to get people to know what we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it's better in a team. We are all going through the same thing. We just don't talk about it. We <laughs> own a business and we believe that we got it all in yeah. under control. Yeah. And we're like, oh, okay. But uh, so I believe that if we do it in a team, if we do it like supporting each other, uh, and there is also a need of planting relationships yeah. as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's not about just set it and forget it. You're no. not like, oh, oh yes, I just met you. And then, yeah. mm -hmm. no, it's about... Or I am part of a networking group. Yes. <laughs> no, it's it's something more like I want to keep 
this relationship because I want to build something. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing with my job. I just don't sell you something, you know, and then, uh, about you. yeah, okay, mm -hmm. so you are going to start something for retirement. Okay, so I see you in 25 years. <laughs> no, I never do this. No. So it's about planting that relationship. Mm -hmm. There is also a need with business owners and young families uh, start saving for retirement because we don't have all those benefits from the past. I mean, like mm -hmm. when you're working for a company, they take your money, yeah. right? Or they decide, or, I mean, you can do that as well, but we don't have the same benefits as probably yeah, an employee like, like, would have. Yeah, like so. it, it happens in the past, right? Like, in, well, we can give, well, this is an example of Mexico, but right now it's very, it's very different when people retire. So then if a person our age is not planning a retirement plan, when they get old, they will not have a retirement from the government. They will not receive pensions anymore. Exactly. So right now, people our age should start thinking about planning these kind of uh, things because when they get old and maybe they don't have the economical exactly. situation. <laughs> yes. No, we need to person. start planning that. Mm -hmm. uh, and the sooner, the better. Yeah. There is a need also of... Uh, saving money we don't know how to save money no we, don't we know. believe mm -hmm. that we are saving money because we're just putting aside some money for our next trip and we believe <laughs> that that's saving money and that's not saving money <clears throat> so uh i love that idea of how i can approach people and tell them how to live on a budget and how to save money because what i've told people about is that i found that only new zealand is the only country in this world that has a financial program in the schools for the kids. Wow. <laughs> and that is just so yeah. sad mm -hmm. because we really need to teach our kids since they are little, little, little ones that they need to save money and the importance of being uh, smart with the money. Yeah. So there is a need of a lot of things in the financial plus emergency funds. Mm -hmm. Okay, 2020, the scariest <laughs> year that we've had so far. And we all struggle. Yeah. And there are still people struggling mm -hmm. because uh, we are not educated on how to put some money aside for that uh, emergency. Yeah. And we start planning uh, that emergency fund whenever we had already the emergency right in front of us. So <laughs> it's like, okay. And it happens to all of yeah, us. Yeah, of course. So I want to, there is a need of that. I want to get to a lot of people and tell them, hey, yes, you can live without uh, the stress of, you know, knowing that you are not going to have anything for retirement or that that you're going to have something whenever your kids go to school mm -hmm. or if something happens because life happens, mm -hmm. you're going to be protected. Your family is going to be protected. So I, I love giving good news. <laughs> and with Babel Networking, of course, I'm also giving good news all the time because I see how we are helping each other and how successful it's been this uh, group. And I mean, you'll see uh, very good friends that we've uh, made in this networking group. Hi, Don, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Kim, for your comment. <clears throat> Thank you. So I will keep that going and um, I know that we are going to go uh, very far with this. Yes, of course, yes. And plus, you know, the most important thing is that it comes from the heart. You know, our main intention is really to help people. And that is always things that come from the heart have good results. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so then, uh, then the other question that I have for you is how has this pandemic challenged you personally and professionally? Uh, well, I think... It's been, you're going to think that I'm crazy, but I think it's been a blessing. Yeah. I, know. I mean, it's been um, a blessing in the fact that I have seen that like, everything I can do. Yeah. I, uh, sometimes. All your possibilities. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I a lot, a bunch of possibilities were just open. Mm -hmm. And I just had to choose and I had to pray because I am a hundred percent God believer and I know that it doesn't matter the situation if we believe in him and if we just let 
ourselves and him he'll guide you yeah. so and he i mean in this year i have felt more of god mm -hmm. like he has told me i can't feel him how he's just guiding me for anything and i don't have to be stressed and I mean, everything... You feel the protection, let's yes. say, the guidance. Yes, mm -hmm. and we do that whenever we feel more more vulnerable, like yeah. in this year. Mm -hmm. This year has been a challenge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, But I think, the, I mean, the networking group got really stronger during the pandemic. <laughs> yes, it did. And, uh, and it has grown a lot. I had time to spend with my <clears> son. <throat> I had time to really figure out what I wanted to do. I had time to get all my licenses that I needed to get here in the state because I studied a lot, believe it or not. <laughs> I had to study a lot to start doing this. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's been, to me, it's been a blessing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I think that that's why they say that crises are the opportunity for new doors. You know, it's when that's you right. can find those talents that are hiding or when you can find new ways and Crisis is not as bad if we have the eyes to see it in that way, right? That's right. Yeah, great. So then where do you see yourself in the near future? The future. Oh, the future. So. probably in <laughs> Alaska. <how laughs> you? Doing a cruise? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> in the near future, I'm going to be in a cruise with Carla. Okay. <laughs> so professionally... <clears throat> I want to say I want to keep building my business. Um, I want to keep uh, getting to a lot of people, and probably in two years, I want to keep doing this. But I want to have more time for my kids. So everything I'm doing right now, and I'm working full time, a hundred percent, for the networking group and for uh, what I do for a living, for like um, financial planner. Mm -hmm. Because in two years, I want to have more time for my son. That's right. Yes. So whenever he starts school, if he's going to do homeschooling or if he's going to go to school, I don't know what's going to happen, but, but I want to have more time mm -hmm. and be prepared for whenever he starts doing that. Okay, great. Yeah. You want to also guide him and yes. helping, with, helping with his homework, etc. That's great. Yeah, yes. that's nice. So let's say that in two years, you, you want like to have uh, more time. And uh, to be more available for your kid. Yes. Okay, great. Plus the cruise. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah plus the cruise. Carla. Carla. So, uh, <laughs> get ready. <laughs> Can you take me? <laughs> yes. Let's all go. Yeah. <laughs> Let's make a group. Well, she's a special life in group, so. There you go. Then, how are you serving our community? Mm. Well, with the group. <laughs> with the Bubble Networking Group. Um, that's how I'm serving. I'm trying to get as many business owners as I can every day because I want to work together and I want to help them and I I want to build a team and I want to get to a lot of people and try to convince them to get their products and services from us. Mm -hmm. And that's going to help the economy. That's going to get us out of this pandemic. Mm -hmm. very soon and faster if we do it in a team so mm -hmm. um, that's I think I mean we are a non-profit organization we're not getting paid for any of this <laughs> uh, it's just a matter of uh, helping and serving the community also through this uh, Babel Networking Group so and also uh, in my financial thing is I'm doing these consults for free. I'm not charging you money to give you a perspective of where you want to go mm -hmm. and how you can do it mm -hmm. and all of that. I think it's a great way to serve the community. Plus, I'm teaching kids now how to save money. That's great. And uh, that's part of my commitment because, as I said, we need to teach our kids so I'm doing some kind of uh, classes for kids and I teach them with free piggy banks how they can organize their money and I, I give you all the uh, you know the like the beginning of it but then the parents are the ones who need to keep that <laughs> work <laughs> yes but that's that's how I'm serving that's great yeah that is a very nice idea eh? mm -hmm. congratulations 
Then, you. Uh, would you would you have any special uh, advice for all the business owners, like you? Any special advice that you give that you could give to, to business owners? Yes, that would be don't give up. Mm -hmm. There are days that you feel like you are not going anywhere mm -hmm. and you don't know how to get to your clients or you don't know how to get more customers and that's very frustrating. I've been there. Uh, I'm probably there once a week <laughs> <laughs> because we we don't know everything. Mm -hmm. So I would say partner always with somebody who is also be building a business. And whenever you feel like that, just pray and get yourself around people who are going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. And they will let you know and they'll tell you how they went through that. And we all have different ideas. Mm -hmm. Like you are not going to see things the way I see them. Yeah, of course. So <clears throat> whenever you are outside of that circle or that limitation that I'm seeing, you are going to say, hey, Anna, but you can do this, you can do that, or let's do this, let's do oh, Okay, yeah. so mm -hmm. I would say don't isolate. We are going all through difficult times, but we can all together make them become a blessing yeah. for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds great. I could say good advice, eh? <laughs> it's, a, it's a coffee. Yeah, okay, give me more. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you have any special offer for the members of this group? Uh, yes, I'm offering free consults. I can give you a general perspective of where you are now or where you want to go. We can talk about it if you already have something set for your retirement uh, with uh, no commitment at all. I can go through it and I can just make sure that you are saving enough and that is what you need. And um, I'm offering also right now consults for families uh, right now that December is coming. Mm -hmm. And we're thinking about giving our kids or grandkids a gift. I'm trying to get them the idea that the toys that they're going to buy for them and the clothes and yeah, all that is necessary. But if you get something for them that is going to be bigger in the future, mm -hmm. and that's that could be better. Yeah. So uh, I'm doing those uh, consultations and webinars as well. And uh, that's all for free. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's it. Hey, <laughs> you need to start getting more people. Come nah. <laughs> to the webinars. <laughs> and also, that you say the grandchildren, right? Maybe they can create a group of grandchildren or children and that you can teach them all these things. Huh? Yes, that would be a absolutely. Nice thing. If yes. you or your kids or your grandkids, you want to sign them up for this class, just shoot me an email because I'm going to be doing it once a month now. So uh, if you don't want to meet in person for uh, any reason, we can do them in some. So I'm prepared for either virtual or physical. I'm prepared yeah. for that. Okay, that's great. I think that that is a good present for, for kids, even if they don't see it that way because they are expecting the whatever. But I think that it's a good present. No, I think sometimes we forget the essentials in life. No, it's like they never teach you how to be a parent. No, they never teach you how, well, in my area, no, how to love yourself, how to have contact with your emotions. They don't teach you about money, right? So then it's time to change and to, like you say, contribute with society with those things, right? That's right. Okay, so how can we reach you? Well... You can reach me in any coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> well, around the area. Around <laughs> Tarpon Springs. Around Tarpon Springs. If you go to any coffee shop, you'll find me there. No. Uh, well, uh, you can find me on Facebook as Anna Dominguez, the show, Agent with New York Life. Or my phone number is 727-698-2929. Or email a a dominguez d at f t dot near
Yeah. Okay, we should come with the maybe minimum like this. Okay, that was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Because they were like A B O P A. Yeah, and also we have the Facebook page, of course, of Babel Networking. So just find it as Babel, B A B E L Networking on Facebook, and that's how uh, we can be found also on Facebook. <laughs> Anything else you want to share with our audience? Well, no, thank you very much, everybody, for the support. Uh, thank you for. Uh, being here for sharing this for thank you Ali for doing this interview my pleasure I mean I'm loving this group thank you Kim thank you Nicole Don thank you Don okay. thank you Kari <laughs> thank you everyone for oh, being I'm here Nicole. love your passion yeah. thank you Nicole <laughs> yeah we're gonna we're gonna be together whenever we we get to that success that we want. This is an amazing group. We are supporting each other. Uh, I feel the support. <clears throat> I feel the love. And that's how things are building. Like I was saying, if you either in your financial life or either in your personal life, if you have a good foundation, and that would be either protection, all the love, all the healing in your heart, and then just the protection that you get from God, then everything is just going to go itself. Yeah. Exactly. And it's going to work itself mm -hmm. out. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yes. Thank well, you, thank everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. And see you next time. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>